must not have good eyesight. Yeah. All right, yeah. Well, maybe not interested in. Thomas at the back there, he's eight years old. He was born and bred in captivity. He's only ever known a captive environment. Edwina here is actually a boy. Um, <laughs> we found out a little too late. Um, Edwina was brought in at three weeks old when mum was in by a car. And lucky last we've got Eddie. She was eight years old when she was brought in. Unfortunately, she got herself caught in a bushfire. She needed a bit of recovery. And she was deemed unfit for release because her immune system didn't come back up where it should be. Is that a tongue? That's a tongue. Mm -hmm. Yep, that tongue is two thirds of a ruler, 18 centimetres long. Wow. It's covered in a really thick and sticky saliva, and they rely on that tongue to grab a hold of their food because their beak is actually fused shut, apart from a tiny little hole in the end, which the tongue pokes out of. That being said, they make good use of what they've got, and they can actually clear out an anthill in under 20 minutes, which, if you were wondering, is 200,000 ants every 10 minutes. Wow. Do you want to get any? We like to call it bunk bits. 
but essentially it is crushed cricket meal, fly pupae, mealworms, and some other vitamins that we yeah, can have in your really clean it out. Delightful, yeah. protein rich, we love it. <laughs> As you can see, so inhaling it, it is quite palatable for them. <laughs> now have a look at those back feet, they do face backwards, those long claws in the back, they are actually used as a hairbrush. So they can get rid of any ticks, any fleas, any dirt, things like that that might be making them itchy. Being backwards facing, it also helps them get around a lot of different kinds of terrain. Mm -hmm. So it helps them climb and get around. So don't be a piggy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help themselves. Yeah, piggy that's piggy here. Better hurry. Look at she finished her. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. That's why she's better. She's like the excess out. Yep. Yeah, that's why. That's she's she's just, she's gonna go over there. Oh, come on. She is a he. Oh, he. Oh, now I explain to that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame him. Thomas the tank. He can't help himself. Tank. <laughs> Thomas the tank. Yeah. Thomas the piglet. He can't help himself. Oh, he's in it. Yeah, he did. Oh, look at they're going to check out each other. Yeah, they like to double. They like to double. They're good for that. Now, with humans, they cannot see very well. They can see about three meters in front of them. They're incredibly short-sighted. They get most of their. They do most of their movement by a sense of smell, vibrations that they can feel in the ground, and what they can hear. Did a circle. Well, this one looks like it has fewer. Fewer spines. Hers are actually black tipped to their vision, right back from the birds. Look at that tongue. They're all coming. Yeah, they know the routine. <laughs> yeah. So nice Once an hour? <laughs> Once whenever we come in. It can be every 15 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. Hello. All right, so we've got our three little echidnas here. We've got Thomas at the back there. He's eight years old. He was born and bred in captivity. He's only ever known a captive environment. Edwina here is actually a boy. Um, <laughs> we found out a little too late. Um, Edwina was brought in at three weeks old when mum was hit by a car. And lucky last we've got Edie. She was eight years old when she was brought in. Unfortunately, she got herself caught in a bushfire. So she needed a first saw yesterday. Was that I a one day? The first thing is a yes. one day. The one that burrowed, yeah. disappeared <laughs> before I got a picture of.